Listen of Radio Maria, a Christian voice in our homes. It's the Uganda Matters program. And Father Joseph Mukasa Mwonge is here with us to tell us what exactly happened after the martyrdom of the Uganda Matters. Do you want to know what happened after the martyrdom? So please keep tuned and tell a friend, call a friend to tune in and listen and enjoy this program. Father Joseph Mukasa Mwonge, you are most welcome. Radio Maria, Christian voice in our homes. The listeners are waiting to hear what happened after the martyrdom. But may you please pray and bless us before the program begins, Father. May Mother Mary and the Uganda Martyrs pray for us. Amen. Dear listener, like my colleague has said, we are going to look at what happened soon after the martyrdom of Namugongo. Remember, various martyrs died at various sites. But now what happened after the great martyrdom at Namugongo? Remember, Catholics and Protestants in the same Holocaust site died because of witnessing to Jesus Christ. News of the Namgongo martyrdoms wreaked the two Christian missions slowly and sporadically. What are the two Christian missions? The Catholic camp and the Protestant camp. And we are saying that news of the Namgongo martyrdoms wreaked the two Christian missions slowly and sporadically. As had happened after the martyrdom of Joseph Mukasabal Kudembe the previous November, numbers of catechumens made their way to the Catholic mission under cover of darkness, begging for immediate baptism and confirmation on the plea that they were liable to be arrested at any moment. Imagine, after seeing, after noticing that several had been killed because of their witness into Christ. Many others, like we've mentioned seconds earlier, rushed to the Catholic mission asking for baptism. Baptism? Do you want to die like the others did? There was definitely work of the Holy Spirit. Do you not think so? 52, 52 neophytes, those who had just of recent been baptized, were confirmed by Bishop Levinak between the 31st of May and the 6th of June. Among them, John Mary Kiwanukamzei, who was to be the last martyr. The bishop was astonished at the effects of grace on these recent converts. At any moment, they expected to be handed over to the executioners, yet faced the prospect of dying painfully for their religion with calm courage and unwavering faith. Several even asked whether to remain in concealment was not a form of apostasy. We are saying that several even asked whether to remain in concealment and hiding was not a form of apostasy. 
and whether they should not give themselves up as Christians. Yes, we are looking at what happened after the martyrdoms at Namgongo. For the rest of the year, that's 1886, Kabakamwanga's behavior remained as unpredictable as ever. Still uttering threats against the Christians, he yet restored to favor and reinserted as Major Domo, the confessor of the faith, Honorato Nyonyintono. Matthew Kisule also remained completely unmolested and was even able to attend Mass openly on Sundays in spite of Mwanga's threat. Open quotes. I know that to pray, I will have you killed one of these days or at least have your ears cut off. Close quotes. Open quotes once again. Look at these ears, said Kisule to Bishop Livinak with a smile. They no longer belong to me. The Kabaka was continuing to say, the Kabaka has promised to relieve me of them one of these days. That was another brave man called Kisule. Undeterred, Matthew Kisule continued to visit the missionaries give shelter to fugitive Christians, both Catholic and Protestant, send food to those in prison, ease their hardship, and ransom the wives of Christians. In September, remember, the Namgongo Holocaust it took place in June 1886. Now, in September, the Kapaka imprisoned Joseph Nsingi Sira, a prominent Catholic who had been absent. Yes, Nsingi Sira had been absent on a royal mission at the time of the persecution. But, yielding to pressure from Kuluji and other chiefs, Kuluji, that's the treasurer, yielding to pressure from Kuluji and other chiefs, released him again. He then attempted to have Joseph murdered. That's Joseph and Singesira. But the plot was foiled by some of the chiefs who sent warning to the intended victim. Finally, Singesira was again arrested, imprisoned, and loaded with chains. In those chains, said Joseph and Singesira, I spent 28 months. That is still the insurrection drove Mwanga from his throne. Another one, Isaac Kajiani, Kato, the twin brother of Dense Bugwao, and another convert named Luanga, no teachers Luanga, were also kept in chains until Mwanga's deposition. Remember, time came when he was deposed, and that took place in 1888. It soon became apparent to the Kabaka that far from extinguishing, these are very important words, ha, ha. it soon became apparent to the Kabaka that far from extinguishing the torch of faith in his dominions, he had spread the flame more widely. <laughs> oh. The more these were persecuted, mm. the more the faith spread. So that means, Father, after the, the Holocaust at Namgongo, mm. uh, the persecution continued. Yeah, yeah. The the Christians who had braved the, yeah. the whatever they continued to be persecuted. That's true. Until Mwanga was deported. Uh, oh. You know, he was deposed. Okay, oh. but a uh, princess and big chiefs mm. and princesses were time and again advising the Kabaka not to continue acting that way. Okay. Otherwise. Like we said earlier, his moods remained unpredictable. Mm. <laughs> Today he will be, would be okay. Tomorrow he would have changed. Father, this is very important. I've never known what happened after 3rd June. Uh -huh. Maybe after the following year. 1887. Yeah, what happened mm. after, hey. after uh -huh. January, after killing 
mm. John Mary Muse. Uh -huh. I didn't know what happened afterwards as far as persecution of Christians was concerned. Mm. Uh, because now, mm. he, he would, the Kabaka would have killed many, many, many more. Mm. But like we've said earlier, mm. big chiefs and princes and princesses mm. uh, who were always at his door telling okay. him not to continue. Kabaka mm. Tamwata, Tamalida Odala. Uh -huh. hey. If the king decides to uh, to eliminate, he does not eliminate to completely. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. The Kabaka mm. or his chancellor particularly decided to eliminate several key individuals, namely John Mary Kwanukamzei. Joseph Kaddu, the husband of the princess in Arumansi, and two other former pages of Mutesa. Mwanga knew that the men he wanted were somewhere in the neighborhood of the capital. But all his inquiries had failed to reveal their whereabouts. He decided to resort to Gaia and announced that he wished, uh -huh, he announced that he wished to reward with the gifts of land Mm. All positions of importance, all who had served Mutesa, his father, so faithfully, and appeared to them, presented themselves at court. Eh? Remember, when Mwanga came, he, he retained some of those who were serving during the reign of Mutesa. Now, it is saying, tell them to come. Tell them. I'm going to reward them with the gifts of land. That, that was a deceit. I want to give them positions of importance. Yes, they served my late father so faithfully. And so, Mwanga appealed to them to present themselves at court. Ah. The wanted men were not deceived. Ah, they knew. They knew it was a deceit. The wanted men were not deceived and continued in hiding. This means some were advised by the missionaries to go in hiding. Yes. Hmm. For example, at the time the great persecution began, John Mary Kwanukamze was not around. Hmm. He was in the area of Kagera on a special mission. Mm. When he came back, he learned that his colleagues had been killed and he wanted mm. to present himself to the authorities so that he too would be killed. But the missionaries mm. said, no, you are not to go and you must listen to us. Remember, on the day you were baptized, do you remember what you told us? Mm. That was on the 11th of November, 1885. One of what he promised was to be obedient to his superiors. Mm. Now the missionaries are using this to protect him. Do you remember? You promised to listen, to be obedient to us. Now we are ordering you, don't present yourself. Don't. Mm. Until such a time they said, okay, now you may try to go. And uh, since you are convinced, mm. but that was uh, later. We are saying the wanted men were not deceived and continued in hiding. Then Mwanga, knowing that Kuluji, Kuluji is the treasurer, mm. had always been on friendly terms with Musei, asked him to have a message delivered to Jean Marie Kiwanuka Musei. Kuluji does not seem to have been taken in by Mwanga's dissimulation because he sent a man out to look for Musei who was then staying with Stanislaus Mugwanya. Oh. That's where now Jose was staying, okay. at the home of Stanislaus Mugwanya. Mm. On receiving this personal invitation to come to court, Jose said to his friends, I think I'll go. Mm. How long shall I have to go on hiding myself? Mm. His friends, to dissuade him, telling him that they were sure the Kabaka was playing the hypocrite, but Musei said, I wish to go all the same. If he gives me an estate, then you may come too, and I shall present you to him. 
If, on the contrary, she wants to put me to death, let him do so. Then you can remain on your good, and I shall at least die for my religion, because there is no other charge against me. Aha. So John Mary Kiwanukamsei went, and Kuruji presented him to the Kabaka. Mwanga spoke kindly to him and told the treasurer, Kuruji, to take him to the chancellor with orders to give him two women slaves oh, to till his land. <laughs> <laughs> Kuruji, mm. Kuruji, his suspicions, probably aroused by this excessive cordiality, advised his protege to take to flight. Please run away. <laughs> <laughs> Go as far as, as as far away as possible. But I say refused, is saying, where can I be safe now mm. that I am a marked man? Does not the whole country belong to the Kapaka? Mm. I cannot keep on indefinitely running about. The Chancellor also received his visitor graciously. Remember, the Kapaka sent him to the Chancellor. Mm and ordering the chancellor to give him to women slaves. Mm. The chancellor also received his visitor. Who is the visitor? John Mary Kiwanukamsei. Mm. Graciously told him that there were several unoccupied plantain groves and invited him to return with his friends so that all four of them could be given plots of land. Ha <laughs> ha! Jean Mary mm. reported on his audience to his friends who were not impressed. Mm. Uh -huh. You know, he died on the 27th, and now he goes for the first time to the palace, to the court on the 25th, then 26th, then 27th. Because when he went, like we are going to see, mm. the, the friends were not impressed. G to give us plots of land. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He has many estates. No, 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 no. Mm. So, Musei went back following day without them. Then he was asked, where are they? They have not been able to come. Hello. Do they not want plots of land? Go and bring them. <laughs> so, he goes back. Mm. On the 27th, he first went for Holy Mass at Narukorongo. He received the Holy Communion. As they were talking, he was sharing with his friends. Uh, somebody arrived, a soldier arrived, and said you were needed. Uh -huh. So he goes back, third time, to the court. This time is the last time mm. they appeared. Remember, before his first visit to court, he had, heard, he had gone for Mass and received Holy Communion and spoken to Father Mapera about his intention, at the same time mentioning his doubts. If Mwangas really had a, charge of her, a change of heart, he said, why does he not release the Christians who are still in prison? Mm. Uh -huh. For example, Joseph Nsingisra, we mentioned earlier, mm. was still in prison. So the reasoning is, if Mwanga has really had a change of heart, like he's saying, why does he not release the Christians who are still in prison? After his second visit, and the Chancellor's importunity about the other three Christians, Musei can have had few illusions about the danger of returning especially as the others flatly refused to accompany him. However, he was eager for martyrdom and therefore quite ready to give Mwanga's protestors, uh, protest protestations of friendliness a fair trial. According to Father Mapera, John Mary Kiwanukamzei, like I've just mentioned, I'm only emphasizing this, mm. had gone for mass at Nalukolongo and received Holy Communion on the morning of the 27th of January. That was 1887. It was on this day that he paid his final visit to the councillor and disappeared. Mm. John Mary Kwanukamsei, pray for us. Mm. There is no first hand information as to how John Mary Kwanukamsei met his death, but a woman. Mm. 
at the time living in the councillor's enclosure, said to a one Louis Masimbi, open quotes, they have beheaded your friend and thrown his body into the swamp. That's mm. Jugula. Mm. At the place where he was beheaded, they scrapped up the earth, scrapped up the earth, which was soaked with blood and threw that also into the swamp. Uh -huh. Close quotes. For Pearl, 1962, African Holocaust, the story of the Uganda Martyrs, page 232. Mm. Uh -huh. The woman, formerly one of Kabaka Mutesa's women, had known Musei when he was a page and was considered by Masimbi Lewis to be a trustworthy witness. Mm. Uh -huh. That's how we came to know that John Mary Kwanukamsei had been dumped into Jugula mm. Swamp. The woman's story was partly corroborated mm. by the servants of Simeon in Supuka, who two days later went to draw water from the swamp and noticed the smell mm. of the dead body. On asking some women who were working in the fields nearby what caused the smell, they were told, why ask? Mm. There were, you notice the smell, a man was killed. Have you not noticed that the leaves have been cut from those wild plantains in order to wrap the body in them? Mm. When my servants told me this story, says in Supuka, Simeon, in Supuka was he himself a confessor of the faith, I was sure that the man who had been killed there was our friend Jean Marie Kiwanukamze, who had disappeared, and about whose fate all the Christians were concerned. Mze was the last of the Christians to die for his faith, but there would no doubt have been other victims had it not been for the growing opposition of the chiefs and even the Chancellor himself to further persecution. Oh. Ah. In March 1887, remember? Chan Marie Kwan Kamsei died in, in January. But now let's proceed to... In March 1887, Mwanga, who had been showing a particular aversion to one of his Christian pages spared in the earlier arrests, ordered that he and a number of others should be arrested that is Joseph, <laughs> was, the one who was in prison. Ah, uh -huh. Aha, including those. Okay. They, they were singing, but, uh, but some others were still still outside. Mm. And now said, arrest them. Arrest them. Mm. This time, however, the counselor intervened. But remember, God's ways are not man's ways. Mm. This very counselor, Mokasa, was the one that was all the time pushing and pushing and pushing they should die but now he's the he's one of those he's counted among now those who had a change of heart and they are saying oh, but please please spare them mm. thanks be to god mm. the chancellor protested to the kabaka these are his words in neighboring countries mm. they will get to know that we are killing all our young men mm. and that Buganda has only old men left and they will come and attack us close quotes mm. it is not likely that Mukasa had experienced any change of heart towards the new religion but unlike Mwanga she was clever enough to gauge the temper of the chiefs and people who were growing more and more exasperated with the whims and fancies of the fickle young. Mm. Call him tyrant. Fortunately, Kabaka Mwanga had a change of heart, as we know, when she was in exile, mm. Seychelles Islands. Mm. Mwanga was baptized and given the name Daniel or Danieli. Mm. Uh, he died a Christian in 1903, and his body was brought back to his country, his kingdom, in 1910.
1903 in exile. In exile. Seychelles, was Seychelles was Island mm. in the Indian Ocean. Mm. And you remember the British had exiled him. Mm. Now his body was brought back here in 1910 okay. and was led to rest at Muziwazalampanga Kasubi. Muziwazalampanga. Okay. Muziwazalampanga. Mm. The Queen Mother also, it must be noted, who seems to have pleaded in vain for the pages during the May to June persecution mm -hmm. again urged her son Mwanga to put to death only persons who were guilty of acts of direct disobedience and to leave his pages alone. These, she asserted, were his most loyal subjects, mm -hmm. whereas the chiefs were in a state of discontent. Mwanga yielded, thanks be to God and the executioners who had gathered in great numbers, left without being called mm. into action. Mm. Ah. People are getting converted now yeah. in the palace. Uh -huh. <laughs> As the year wore on, mm. Mwanga showed himself increasingly friendly. Wow. Towards Mapeda. Mm. And apparently more tolerant of Christianity. Mm. Thanks be to God. Mm. By the end of the year, he had released all those imprisoned for their faith. Oh. <laughs> Except in Singisila, Kajane, mm. and uh, Ewanruanga. Mm. But he had lost none of his capriciousness and arrogance and began to intensify his campaign of general and indiscriminate oppression of his subjects irrespective of religion. The latter part of 1887 it may be said to mark the end of religious persecutions but the beginning of new and worse troubles for Mwanga's unfortunate subjects. Mm. Uh -huh. Remember the Kabaka had always had a right to the property of his subjects. Mm. and even to that of the Rubari, the tribal gods. Under former rulers, requisitioning of property had been carried out in ordinary manner, usually by levies organized through the chiefs, which ensured that even if the burden was not fairly distributed, it was at least distributed over a large number of persons. Mm. Mwanga, disregarding tradition, began to use his personal bodyguard, the Aba Peri, to loot and plunder wherever he pleased. We shall come back to that. <laughs> Dear listener, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, yes, what happened after the Namugongo martyrdoms? I too have enjoyed. Because uh -huh. I didn't know what happened after mm. the martyrdom. Mm, yeah. After 1886, what yeah. happened? What happened? I've really, really mm. enjoyed that. Uh -huh. And I That's hope the great. listeners have also enjoyed so Thank you. We may have Thank a you. Break. The martyrs must be happy also. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, in this program they mm. visit us. They do. Mm. Yes, they do. Mm. They enjoy when we talk, we, when talk we mention about their them. names. And, uh, and also the missionaries. Yeah, the missionaries My parents is always the happiest when we talk about his children yeah. and then himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Said, oh, mm. oh, you're talking so we, about we, we, us. <laughs> so we contributed to the mm. salvation mm. of many people. Mm. Thanks be to God. They we must thank be God saved. for the conversion of the king, mm -hmm. and he died a baptized man. He baptized man. Yeah. Many times we stop at saying he, he killed, he killed, he killed, he killed, he killed but uh, yeah. by forgetting that at the end of the day he mm. repented. He repented. Mm. And his name is Daniel. Yeah, yes. Like, uh, like Mukajanga, mm. the chief killer, the chief executioner, mm. chief soldier, died also, baptized again in the Protestant church and mm. was given the name Paul. Thanks be to God. Uh, another one, Kamani, mm. who speared Noah Mawagali in Mitiana. Mm. Kamani, when he fell sick, suffering uh, at in Zambia, mm. uh, on his sick bed, he mm. called for a priest, Father Udufa went there and received him in the Catholic Church. Mm. But he had been baptized in the Protestant Church and given the name Yokana. Mm. Now, he, as he was about to die, he said, no, I must die. He, 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 exercising the religion in which the boy I speared in Mitiana mm. was embracing. Mm. So he was received in the Catholic Church. And even in Mbugano, Mbugano, the one who led the group, the big group that uh, in which Kamani belonged, mm. 
he, he was baptized in Vida Maria. And uh, oh. I can even mention, God willing, his baptism card number. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I looked in the baptism register mm. and I found him. Bugano is in our yeah. register. Yeah. Nice yeah. The cool. man who led the group which went to Mitiana, mm. to which group Kamani, who speared Noa Mawakali, eh, belonged. That group which was persecuted the Christians in Mitiana. Uh, yeah. The, the leader was combated. The, the, the larger group mm. proceeded to Namugongo on the 27th, yes. while another group led by Mbukan on the very day left for Mitiana, oh. where they arrived on Monday the 31st, mm. around 7 a.m. Mm. Moved from Kampala on the 27th of May, mm. arrived on Monday the 31st, around 7 a.m., they were already in Mitiana. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Father, we may have a break. Thank you. Welcome back, dear listener from the break. We are for the Uganda Matters program. Thank you that you're still listening and you are, you must be enjoying. Because personally, I didn't know what happened exactly after the matadom at Namugongo. After 3rd June, what happened? So today, Father Joseph Mukasa Mwange has helped us to know and to appreciate what happened to the, uh, the Christian group, the Anglican and the Catholics. What happened to them? We have seen that the, the persecution increased, the Kabaka's rage increased, the chancellor, the, the chiefs. But also we have seen after some time, we have seen the chiefs, um, the princess, queen the, mother, the, the queen mother, pleading. pleading for the Christians. We have mm. seen some of them being imprisoned and some of them being freed. We have seen uh, the conversion of the key people, starting with the Kabaka himself, uh, converting, and also his men. Father, thank you very much. Me, to be very, very sincere, I didn't know yeah, what thanks, happened thanks after the matadom, after uh, the death of John Mary, and, and even how he died. Yeah, and you are mm. not supposed to, to know everything. I know, but that <laughs> every day the Lord is helping but us. It's important. Yeah. Every day mm. God gives us an opportunity mm. to, to acquire more. To acqu and to appreciate our historical events. Yes, mm. thanks be to God. Amen. Uh -huh. mm. We have to toil till the end. Yeah. 
we have people whose examples we can emulate. Mm. Yeah, we have people that who knows us mm. more they because know. we go through sometimes mm. uh, through what they did. Uh huh. Hello. Welcome. Uh huh. Yes, mm. yes, that's great. God's love for humanity has no end. That's mm. great. And his mercy yeah. has no end. You are right. No sin will never seek to forgive mm. all of us going back into his kingdom. Mm. Nobody runs to him mm. and is there to forgive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's start to continue to pray for one another. Yeah. That our love for the Lord should increase. Yeah. Our trust in him should continue. Mm. That's true. Press him back and go for confessions. Yeah. Mm. Love Jesus, blood and blood. Mm-hmm. Even outside the worship of other gods. Mm-hmm. Sacrificing of children. Mm-hmm. Too much love for money. Mm-hmm. Love for the music, discourse, and what have you. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And yes, Father. Thank you for the Thank compliment. Father, we are eagerly waiting for Christmas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pray for us as we pray for you. Well, thank you very that much. It may be a great celebration. That's true. <laughs> Father, I have a question. Yeah, please pause it. How did it come mm. that it should be a place of pilgrimage in Amgongo? How did it oh. come that it's a place because of pilgrimage? pilgrimages all over the world. Okay. Okay, thank you, Father. It's thank you the very, very much. Namugongo, first of all, mm. is the place where the majority of the martyrs died. Mm. The majority of the martyrs died at Namugongo. Although, not at the same spot. Mm. Twelve, at the very site where uh, people used to be burnt. Mm. But Charles Luanga at Namugongo Busari, where the basilica is. Exactly where the altar in the basilica. That place is that called Namugongo Busari. Ah, Namugongo Busari. Mm. Charles Luanga. It's a very uh, providential that Charles Luanga was martyred separately. Mm. But because now we, we, we have a place to, where we can all gather. Namugongo gets her. I tell you, we cannot even fit there. Yeah, and mm-hmm. Father, I also heard mm-hmm. that um, the file mm-hmm. for the beatification and the canonization of beatification, mm-hmm. Pope John the Twenty Third. Mm-hmm. Okay, they they, they wanted mm-hmm. um, Charles Ranga to be the only one to be beatified or canonized, yes. but then mm-hmm. Pope John the Twenty Third said, "No, all these brothers of his." Should all be matters. So, by declaring that all of them should be canonized, Namgongo, of course, got mm. that fame. And, yeah, and Archbishop Kabana mm. and uh, yeah, Archbishop Joseph Chiwanuka mm. also said no. They said let, no. let all of them be baptized. Mm. Not only Joseph Chiwanuka, but also Archbishop Joseph Kabana, mm. whom Chiwanuka succeeded. Yeah. But also, uh, we make our pilgrimage because the Pope himself on canonizing the Uganda martyrs, mm. because J- Joseph has added on yeah. that people from all over, from all over, said the 3rd of June, mm. the 3rd of June should be marked with great dignity mm. all over the world, all over the Catholic Church. He said this in his words, we decree that their memory be commemorated by the Universal Church mm. with the pious devotion each year on the 3rd of June. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. That's great. <laughs> the Pope himself. And that uh, is Pope. That was Pope Paul VI now Pope Paul VI, mm. yes. You can yeah. find that decree <laughs> in Fopel, 1962, mm. African Holocaust, the story of the Uganda martyrs, mm. page. 258 and the book is available mm. at uh, St. Paul's also I so many copies at Munyonyo mm. there are copies at Christ the King so the, bu- the book is available I asked how much mm. 25,000 oh. shillings only what's the title of the book father again to the listener African Holocaust, African Holocaust. And the subtitle is The Story of the Uganda Martyrs mm. by Fopel. Mm. And it came out in 1962. Mm. In the past, it used to have a bluish color. Mm. But now you'll find it in a white, whitish color. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, it is color now. Mm. Aha. Yes, we mm. continue to thank the good Lord for the gift of these people. All. Since I read the decree, mm. let me read it in its entirety. Because I read just a part of it. Okay. Open quotes. To the honor of the holy and indivisible trinity, mm. for the exhortation of the Catholic faith and the increase of the Christian religion, mm. by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and our own, mm. after mature deliberation and frequent prayer for divine guidance, and with the advice of our v venerable brethren, the cardinals, mm. patriarchs, archbishops, and bishops of the whole of the Holy Roman Church present in the city, Vatican, we decree and define as holy and inscribe in the roll of saints the blessed Charles Ruanga, Mathias Murumba, Kalemba, and their 20 companions. Mm. We decree <laughs> that their memory be commemorated by the Universal Church mm. with pious devotion each year on the 3rd of June. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Close quotes. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Yes. Hello. Kali, Mutesa Urumunga Wada. Baba to Deca O Mukasi Sira, but a good day in Bamoli Kumpi. Kabako to Lotum to Tay. Kakarino, in Swale and again the Gia, Futitano, Gatano, at your Nayunanga. Ha, Mayan Swale, you should look about to Labane Langinga. Ha, Ojiba Kunida, no to my in Tim. Kind of what could damp away in Sweda and I can't mm Kabakaka, Sija Kumzuk, Saja Quaker, and in Sweda, Jagan's Kansali, I'm against Naji from Bagira. Naji will be ruling Gaji Junaka Square Chetter. Kabaka Wajira Nakakat, Musomenga, Muriku Dembe, on Ponyes, or Nova Kabako Bonyes, Katiaba Sumi, Musomemu Dembe. Ah. Bali could dembe now they can now they, they are at peace. At peace. Uh -huh. Don't touch them, don't bother them because they are at, at peace. peace. Mm. Bali ko dembe. dembe. What happened? After the Holocaust. After the Holocaust. Mm. Hello? Hello? Yes, please welcome. Father. Wangi. Mary Ali Wonyayani. Uh, Mary, I want you to come and see Andrea Kagua. Okay. Andrea okay. Kagua. Mukchala, oh Andrea Kagua, Kalala, but today na kazi boy. Mm. Yazala, oh muana, oh abuala. Ira muana umbere beri o kubati zibo mu Uganda. Yabuzala kumi na nyanya November. Luko yana chana na moeta ano. Gengkera balu kudde banafa. Ira gengkera balu kudde meruafa. Balu wa Sunday. Mm. Omano yoli yabati zibo. Ye Maria. Aliwonya. Daughter of? A, a daughter of Andrea Kahwa and his wife, Claire, but today, mm. Nakazibwe. Okay. The, the very first girl mm. in Uganda to be baptized. Mm. Otherwise, when you go to adult women, the mm. very first women were baptized, not on the 15th, the girl was baptized on the 15th, mm. but they were baptized on the 19th. Again, the same month, November 1885, Eugenia Namirembe, uh, there was Monica and the wife of Andrea Ka Ka Kagua, mm. or Kahua, okay. the wife, who had given birth to Maria Aliwonya. Maria Aliwonya. Uh, days okay. Maria. Okay, that's mm. great, Father. Thank you. Mm. And when we get to the questions, we know that uh, people, people are following. Uh -huh, people mm. are following. Mm. Uh, remember, there is yet another Uganda Matters program this time in, in Uganda at uh, half past eight p.m. And now people in Boston are listening. Greetings to you. I'm aware you are listening. Mm. People in Texas are listening. Mm. People in California, people in Boston mm. where I was are listening. Good people all over. Mm. Are listening. People in Cairo, we thank you for uh, your participation in the program. You've listened. Mm. Uh, the point is, we wish you all the, uh, the best wishes. Mm. We can wish you. Why not? Why not? Uh, Christmas. 
And Father, there is something I want to put across to mm. all the Christians, to all the people of God, and the promoters of Mapela and Amas Beatification, yes, that on yes. 20th December mm -hmm. is a big day for us. Uh -huh. You know what it's going to be? Uh -huh. It's going to be the birthday of Father Simeon Ludell yeah. Mapela. He was born on the 20th of December, mm. 1852. Yeah, so Mas will, will be at Navunya. We always meet at Navunya yeah. to celebrate his birthday. Mm. That's yes. great. Yes. Okay. <laughs> May Mother Mary and the Uganda martyrs pray for us. Amen. I've been Father Joseph Mukasamuongi. And Gertrude Kaligonzi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.